Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our test rigger video series. So this is the series which we have been talking about how this test rigger and fully AI based machine learning based platform which helps you automate application without writing even a single code using just the simple text that you really know. That's what we have been discussing all these days in the series. And now we are going to talk about some of the more easiest way that we can reduce the flakiness of our even less flaky manual test cases using some of the test data that we use within our test. So we already saw the reusable rules in our earlier video where we saw how we can reduce the number of steps within our actual test case and in this particular video we're going to see how we can bring in the test data feature within our test scenarios for example over here you can see that click samsung galaxy z fold 2 this can be anything for that matter you can choose huawei if you really wanted to if your filter is going to be huawei or you can choose something like uh, a oneplus phone and then you can uh, choose the oneplus uh, phones related stuff over here from the click and since this is by Android this is always going to be searching Android phones for you for example if you're going to search for an iPhone then these whole things are going to be literally changing right like how to actually handle those situations and that's where this test data comes in and this is once again one of the most easiest thing that you can do within test trigger so how to do that like working with test data in test trigger it's very very simple all we need to do is let's say I'm going to replace this Samsung I'm going to just go to my test data over here and I'm going to put a key over here. For example, the phone uh, make, something like that, or phone brand, for example. Uh, the value which I'm going to put it like Samsung. So I'm going to hit add over here. You can see that the phone is currently being added. Uh, now let's go back to the test case over here and let's go to the edit test case. And instead of the Samsung over here, what I can do is I can use... Uh, one of the keyword that we could tell test rigger that I need to use the stored value within the brand. So you can do something like select stored value, which is nothing but the, I think it's phone brand below the brand. So this will tell test rigger that, hey, test rigger, go and choose this particular phone brand for me, right? And now I also, for example, need to replace the phone that I wanted to select. So I'm just going to uh, copy this guy and I'm going to go to the test data over here. Uh, let's say the actual phone, which I wanted to choose as well. So I'm going to add. Uh, so the actual phone comes in. So I'm going to go to the test case, edit the test case for the actual phone. Uh, this is going to be actual phone right so i'm gonna say click stored value actual phone uh, i think i have not saved the test cases stored value so now we have saved all of these so now we can see that we have parameterized our test using the test data so i'm going to update and rerun the test so that's it this is how the test data is going to work for us it is going to go and look for the stored value within the test data and it's going to see if there is any key with phone brand then it's going to replace that phone brand to the value as samsung and similarly if there is an actual phone then it's going to replace that with the samsung galaxy z fold 2 5g for us and your test becomes even more readable and you can even parameterize the test because now that our test is kind of more parameterized it can be reused across multiple different types of phones that we have got and we can also ensure that our test is working fine and we can also ensure that we can keep extending our test with multiple different scenarios so let's wait for the test to actually uh, choose the samsung phone that we have uh, written from the test data and also we'll see if it is really choosing the samsung galaxy z flip for us I think it has chosen the Samsung as a brand over here and you can see that currently it is showing me uh, the Samsung phones which is quite cool and it is choosing the highest price for us sort by which is all cool so that the Galaxy Flip will come in as well. There we go it has selected the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip for us from the test data that we have created. So this way we can see that the test data is another handy option that we have got to actually make our test even more readable 
parameterized extendable using test trigger. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.